All right, this is Mobile Gamer Nerd, and welcome to the Mobile Gamer Nerd Podcast. Today, I've been thinking about some stuff, and I uh, I think I'm done with stupid people. That is that is going to be the title of this little rant that we're going to have today. Uh, and this is not just in any one specific spot that I, um, I'm talking about. I'm just talking about stupid people in general. Uh, they kind of pop up everywhere. They pop up in your work. They pop up in your life. They pop up when you're driving, oh my God, do they pop up when you're driving? I could, I could literally spend 12 days talking about people in traffic and how damn stupid they are. This is going to be, a, this is going to be one of my uh, the times where you'll actually hear me possibly get a little, little angsty and uh, and angry. It doesn't happen very often, except for when I'm doing a dungeon that I hate in one of the games. But yeah, I, I just hate stupid people. Like it literally hate. It makes my brain hurt. When somebody dumb says something to me, and I don't know why, if that's something that happens over time, because I never, I never really used to bother me so much. Like I'd be like, "Oh, you're dumb. I'm gonna walk away." Like that's kind of how it was. But now it like hurts my brain. Like it literally hurts my brain. I just, I'm like, why is this person doing that? Uh, a couple of examples. Uh, let's talk about the traffic example. Let's start there because that's a good place to start. So I'm driving on the highway. All right, and there's a ramp that you get onto that goes onto the highway. All right. Now, this is a speed up lane, correct? So you speed up here. Now, the person in front of me decided they were going to go 60 miles an hour up that ramp. All right. Now I'm following them going 60 miles an hour. So we're good. I'm fine with that. We hit the main highway. He slows down to 40. Now there's no, it's not like it's traffic. It's not like there's people that like, he literally slows down to 40 right as we get onto the highway and then continues to go 40 on the highway. What the actual F? <laughs> I was literally like, like, and it's funny because this one didn't technically make me angry because I was so shocked by it. I was just like, who goes fast on the ramp and then slows down on the highway? Literally slow down to 40 after the ramp. I don't get it. I don't understand it. It didn't make any sense to me, but I thought it was, I thought it was funny. So this is one of those times where stupid person made me laugh. And I was literally just because I was so dumbfounded. I was like, that's not something you see all the time. So I was, yeah, this is great. That's just one thing. Two, the one that actually gets me visibly angry is when people just go slow. Like, that's it. Like, and I don't mean slow. Like, I don't drive fast. Like, I'm not like one of those guys that gets on the highway and I'm going 90. Like, I don't do that. I basically go five above, like five range above the speed limit. I stay in my lane. I don't get in the, in the fast lane unless I'm trying to pass somebody. And even then I'll get back over as soon as I'm ready. Right. So I, I'm not like speed demon. I'm not speed racer. I don't do that. So, but if we're on like a regular road, not even a highway, like I used to drive on a road to get to work that was 40 miles an hour. And it's a double lane. You can't pass. So there's zero passing allowed. And what would end up happening was, is this is a long road. It's about a 20 minute drive. And if I got stuck behind somebody who decided they were going 25, I couldn't pass them. And then the problem with that is, is now we're going half the speed limit that I normally would be going. So a 20 minute ride to work now turns into 40. So if I'm running a little late, if I'm even, if I even leave the house 20 minutes after trying to get there by whatever time, I have 40 minutes for a 20 minute drive. If that person gets in front of me, there's times that I would leave with more than enough time to get there. And I'd be like five, 10 minutes late because this jerk in front of me decided they were going to go 25. And you know, what's funny. I never see cops pull people over for going slow. Like I see cops pull people over for like all these things, but it's like, where were you when these people are going 20 miles an hour? Please police. If you're a cop and you're watching this, or if you know someone who's a cop and you watch this, please tell them to pull people over that are going half the speed limit. <laughs> it's like, just get them off the road. Or if they have it where they have to pull over and let everyone pass, like something, make a law, do something about it. Because seriously, slow people are a hundred times worse than fast people. I would take all the fast people riding my ass while I'm driving over even one person who just goes really slow. So if you're one of those people, don't drive. Like, that's it. Learn, learn what speed limits mean, please. Learn what speed limits mean. Even, and it's funny because I'm not even worried about them going just the speed limit. I don't care. I'll, I'll live with that. I can deal with that. If, it, if the speed limit is 35, you go 35. It is what it is. You go 34, whatever. You go 15, we got a problem. <laughs> problem. And I honestly, that's the one thing that gets me angry is driving. Cause like I get so tired of just stupid people doing stuff like this. And you'll have people that literally like, there's like a, 
In Jersey area, there's jug handles. New York, not so much, I don't think. Pennsylvania, I don't think they have any. I think Jersey's like the only idiots that have it. But like if you have like the jug handles, um, or you're trying if you don't know what that is, it's a turn off where you go around in a little circle to make your turn rather than going in a turn. I know that that had to be detailed because I know they don't occur anywhere else except in Jersey area. Um, but like if you're at a light going through Jersey and you're like chilling and you're like, this is cool. And there's a turn off. And then they let's say that that jug handle comes into like two lanes of traffic to get, to make the turn. People will literally pull in front of traffic, even at low traffic areas, they will block people from turning right because they want to get in. So they'll basically block traffic for the entire time that could be turning right and making traffic go away, but they'll just block it off because it's not where they want to be. It's like, bro, just wait. That's it. It sucks that you take that way. If you don't like that way, go a different way. You know what? I've had plenty of times that I actually will change my route to work just because there are certain areas that I hate going to because they're so annoying. So I'll find ways to get around that and take a back road just to pass that one spot. You can do that for pretty much anything. There's always another way to get somewhere. Unless that turn happens to be right outside your job, in which case it is what it is. I'll live my life. But yeah, tired of people blocking traffic for no reason. I hate when people gun it in front of you. They cut you off and then go two miles an hour. If you're going to do that, if you're going to cut me off, like say I'm driving on a highway and you come out of a plaza, if you're going to do that, you learn how to use your gas pedal. That's it. I'm okay with you cutting me off if you go the speed limit. But if you cut me off and go half the speed limit, you're done. And I've, I I've honestly, I'm, I'm guilty of it. I have 100% rode someone's butt and slammed on the horn. It doesn't happen often. I have to really be in like one of those moods where like either I'm like a hundred, even I'm like late because this person's been in front of me for like 30 minutes or I have to just be in a really bad mood. Like, I don't know, something happened. Like my dog ate my controller or something, whatever, something, something that got me in a bad mood already. And then I'm starting. Or if I woke up to like annoyance and I'm like, ah, and then like, all right, here we go. So that's the only time that I'll like, that's when I'm really mad, but it's really the main time that I get mad is, is traffic. Traffic is my, is the bane of my existence. And I've, I've jokingly said this a bunch of times with Thanos. I was like, they're like, Oh, if, if you know, would you press the button with Thanos and wipe out half the population? I'm like, yes, <laughs> if that button was here, I'm pressing it. All right. Cause that means half the traffic in three seconds. And they were like, but it's random. You don't know. You might go. I'm like, it's worth it. <laughs> I'm like, it's worth it. I'm willing to put myself up on that block just to know that when I wake up the next day, I have 50% less traffic. And yeah, that's fine. I'll take that. I'll take that loss. And if you don't know what a joke is, I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. So yeah, 100% hate traffic. Hate it, hate it, hate it. Don't like it. Um, stupid people aren't just in traffic. I mean, that's just my big pet peeve. I can't stand it. But uh, if you haven't noticed, jobs. Yeah, I don't understand that whole thing with jobs. Why is there always why are there always dumb people in jobs? Why does that happen? And I'm not just saying like I wouldn't just say the workers, the like it's 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 kind of everywhere. You always got that that person. Let's say you work with somebody, all right? And there's always that one person who's just a dumbass. I mean, it's kind of life. That's the way it is. Uh, every job has it. Even if you work with five people, if you don't know who the dumbass is, you probably are that dumbass. So. I'm sorry for you if that's the case. Uh, but yeah, there's always one person that just really does nothing. They do nothing. They don't help out anybody. They think that they are you know, above all that. If you, By the way, if you say that you're above cleaning a toilet or doing anything that is in your job, just know you're probably a jerk and no one likes you. Little, little side note. Um, one of those things, like I used, to, I used to do management and a whole bunch of other stuff in plenty of different places. Every single place I ever worked, I'd clean a bathroom. Like, I'm not above it. Like everybody is supposed to do it. And the other thing is, especially if you want to be like a manager, if you haven't done any of the jobs that everybody is doing, then you're not going to be a good manager. And I don't mean that in like a, like you can't be a good manager. I'm just saying you need to do the lower end jobs because you can't fix problems in a job if you don't know what the hell the problems are. And the only way to do that is to actually do the job yourself. So yeah, every time I took over a, a job as, as a manager, as a manager, a manager, a manager, uh, immediately the first things I would do is do all the jobs that the people did. Even if it was like something stupid, like, I don't know, fixing something or doing, like I would always do those jobs with them because I wanted to see exactly what they do like, and I didn't, you know, yell at them or tell them they're doing it wrong while they're doing it. I just wanted to see how they did it. 
what they were doing and how we could possibly make it easier on them, easier on other people. Like, and I've worked in all kinds of jobs. I've worked in retail stores. I've worked in restaurants. I've worked in marinas. I've worked, I've worked everywhere. Uh, and yeah, there's, you go around and you're just like, cool, I got it. And then you always have that one person who will come in. They don't ever do anything. They don't do those jobs. They're just like, oh, I was a manager here. I can be a manager here. It's like, yeah, but you got to learn the job. Anyone can be a manager as long as you've, been, even if you've been a manager somewhere else, you still got to learn the job that you're walking into. So like, I would have somebody, I had, a, I worked at a job where the person that was running it just thought that, you know, oh, everything just, you know, just do what you want. And uh, anything that he says is usually the right thing. And he's just ruined the whole thing. He ruined everything. Um, there was times that the internet wouldn't even be on. Like literally, they wouldn't even have the internet on because he didn't pay it because he didn't want it on auto pay. Like those are the kinds of things that I'm like, really? Really? Like of all the things, like we'll spend tons and tons of money on this one thing, like thousands, but the internet bill is a problem. Like that's a little ridiculous. And yeah, just never, never actually helped. Like if we needed something or we we ordered something and it didn't go, come, we'd be like, hey, can you get it? He'd be like, sure. There was times that we would order something that a, that like a customer needed and it would be like two or three months before we got it. And you could literally order it, order it off Amazon, but I didn't have access to the funds. It almost got to the point where there's a couple times where like somebody was like having an issue and I would just buy it with my own money and then put the receipt as a, like we had petty cash. So I would just do it as a receipt and petty cash because that's the only way I could get it done in a, in a timely manner to where the customer wouldn't be angry. And then the funny thing is, is like, that customer would come to me every day and be like, why don't I have it? Why does this, why is this like this? Why is this like this? I paid my money, blah, blah, blah. And I'm like, why? Because the boss is a jerk. Like that's, that was where I got to at some point, like two or three months later, I was like, cause he's a jerk. That's why I'm like, if you don't like that, I would take your boat somewhere else next year. <laughs> but that's kind of how it, how it worked. Like I was just constantly doing that kind of stuff. And I was like, ah, I'm good. I don't need this in my life. Um, yeah, I've worked in retail and there was a little bit different. The jerks in retail are mainly the customers. I wish I could say that that was not true, but yeah, it's mainly the customers because they just, they just, they have this entitlement. And I found early on that if you don't give the customer, if you don't give every customer that respect, it actually works out better for you. Let me explain that because it sounds like I'm saying you should just yell at customers and I'm not. So I, I have the patience of a saint when it comes to my job. Like when I'm working, I'll sit there and get yelled at for an hour. I don't care. You can yell at me all you want. It's not going to change my day. I'm just going to let you yell and then be like, so what can we do for you? And that's it. Like I can only do what I can do for you and that's it. So yeah, let them yell at me. But every once in a while, you get that one customer who's just above and beyond. And what I mean is like the one that's like, oh, I'm gonna, they start yelling. They, may, they might start knocking things over just because they can't do some return or something or whatever the hell the problem is. It's like I've had people that return something that was visibly like, it looked like someone peed on it and was run over by a tractor. And then someone threw up on it, ate it, pooped it out, and then gave it back to us in a box. Like I've had that happen. And the customer would be like, oh, I never touched it. I'm like, really? I'm like, it's, I'm like and that's when I'm like, you know what? It's blatantly obvious that you're lying. So we can't do anything for you. Have a nice day. And that's the kind of thing where some companies will just be like, oh, okay, you know, I'm sorry you're upset with this. Like, no. The reason that we live in a world right now where whiny babies are getting their voices heard more than normal is because we allow things like that to go on. It's like if, you, if businesses are willing to accept literally anything from anyone at any time due to that whole customer's always right thing, there's always it's just going to basically fester and eventually everyone's going to think they can get away with stuff just by yelling when someone yells at me i shut down immediately like i i think the last time that someone yelled at me i literally looked at them and i was like i think i said to them it was like a customer at some store i forgot where i worked at the time when it happened but they yelled at me they were yelling at me about something really stupid and i'm just like here's the deal i'm like there's other customers here i was like if you're going to continue to curse and do all that you can leave I was like, if you're going to stay here and talk, you're going to talk to me like a normal person. You are not going to raise your voice, and then I will help you with your problem. That person stopped yelling. They were like, I'm sorry. I'm like, that's fine. And most reasonable people will say that if you approach them with respect. If I just said, shut the hell up and F you, you don't get the hell out. If, I, if you say that, yeah, there's a different story. But you, gotta, you have to treat people with respect and let them have the chance to stop doing what they're doing. If they don't stop, that's a different story. You know, then you can start doing that kind of thing. But even then, it just makes you look bad in front of your customer. I mean, in front of your other customers. So like, let's say you're in a retail store, you know, 
if it's something stupid, like if it's like a small dollar item and someone's trying to do something dumb with it, to be honest, what I tell people most of the time is just return it and let them go. That's it. Even if they broke it, I don't care if they they like doused it in acid and gave it back to you. If it's like if it's like a dollar to five dollars, I was like, just return it and get them out of the store. Because what ends up happening is they just start yelling and screaming over some stupid dollar to five dollars, and you'll have three other people behind them that leave because they're not, they don't want to wait for this jerk off that have, obviously has no life and it needs to yell about a dollar item. Yeah, they'll leave because of that fight. So just get them out and then move on to the other people. And it, a lot of people get really mad about one customer too. I've noticed that. And what I've, what I, usually what I would tell my people that I would work with is like, look, how many people is like, they'd be yelling about this one customer. Like, Oh my God, this person's a jerk. I'm like, well, how many customers did you help today? And they're like, I don't know, a hundred. And I was like, so why are you letting this one jerk ruin those other 99 customers? I'm like, you made your, I was like, you made all the sales that you wanted to make today. You know, you did what you're supposed to do. The store looks clean. I'm like that one jerk. I'm like, would you say this was a good day overall? And they're like, yeah. I'm like, all right, so then screw that person. I'm like, the only way that person wins is if you actually let them get to you. And who cares? Like, I just let them go. Like, I'm like, that's an ass and I don't care. They can leave. I'm going to forget they existed tomorrow. And I just go about my day. I'm not going to let them ruin my day because they're idiots. You know what I mean? But there are some times that people are just really aggressive. Like, oh, I'm going to call corporate and all that stuff. And honestly, a lot of times when it gets to that point with me, I think I've only had someone like literally yell like that to me, maybe I don't know how many years my work in like 30 years. I don't even know. I maybe had it happen. I could probably count on my hands all the time that that happened. It's it, it, that's how often it happens. It's just, that's the, that's the thing you remember, you know, cause they're just such jerks and idiots that you just remember that one person. You're like, Oh, that guy was a jerk. So usually when it gets to that point, I already know that most likely that person did something way above and beyond where no matter what I say to them, they are going to continue being a harassing person. And usually at that point, I'm like, all right, they're like, what's your name? I'll be like, this is my name. Go to the website, have fun. Tell them, tell them I sent you. Cause that's kind of how it is. Like, they're like, oh, I'll put you on the, I'm like, go ahead. I'm like, I don't care. I'm like the only people that go on Yelp are people that are completely idiotic. Mostly they go on there and they just rant about a bad experience they have. So that could be the only person that had a bad experience, but that's going to be the Yelp. And then somebody who has ex insanely good service somewhere. And they were like, I'm actually, so I'm like actually shocked by this. Very rarely will you see that middle ground in there. It does happen, but it's like most people that go on there are either insanely good or insanely bad. So you're going to get those because that's the only time somebody actually cares. You know, when, when you have a bad experience, you probably tell like 20 people because it's like a story and you're angry about it. So you're going to tell somebody you have to have like an insanely good experience. Like you have to find like a thousand dollars on the floor to tell somebody like good news. You know, you have to get married to tell somebody good news. You have to get, I don't know if that's good news, but you know, take that as you want. Um, you have to tell, like, you have to get like, oh, I got this job that pays me $3,000 million a year. Like that you're going to tell somebody because it's exciting. But bad stuff could be something like, oh my God, I kicked something with my toe and now my toe hurts. Like that could be the, the, that's it. That's all you need. And all of a sudden you've got your whole day ruined. And that's how a lot of people kind of act in this world nowadays. They think that, you know, there's one bad thing that happens. It's all of a sudden the crazy thing. So yeah, idiots, they just jump in. And the way I handle them in, in that situation is you just kill them with kindness. And I, and I know a lot of people say that, but I really mean that. Like, I'm like, look, we can talk about this and I'll see what I can do for you. You don't tell them no. You don't tell them to calm down. Like those are the things that just get somebody amped up. Like don't tell me to calm down. Like that kind of stuff. Um, but yeah, you just kind of let them let them vent. Sometimes they just need to yell. I've had plenty of people that just screamed at me, and they just, as soon as they were done, they're like, they're like I'm sorry, I feel better. Like, and I didn't even say. I literally said nothing. I was just sat there and listened to them. Like I have my coffee. I drink it while they're talking. Like you can literally just chill and just let them scream at you. And a lot of times that almost honestly, I'd probably say probably five to seven out of 10 of those, that's all a person wants is to be heard <laughs> and have their, have their vice screamed about. Um, but yeah, they're just, and a lot of people seem to think that you need a, an excuse to do a return nowadays. It's like, I don't need an excuse. Just tell me what's wrong and we'll see if we can do it. That's it. <laughs> it's like, oh, you don't want it. Okay, that's fine. We'll return it. They're like, they come in, they're like, oh, here's this. And I had this and that. I'm like, so I'm like, I don't, I don't care about this. None of this matters. Do you want to return it? Yeah. All right. We're good. In and out. We're done. Um, and this actually goes into life too. And actually, I would say stupid people in my life. It's the hardest one to really to kind of fix. And I found over the time that 
when you have stupid people in your life, and stupid people means anything. It could mean a toxic person that's just annoying you. It could be somebody that you just can't stand being around. It's just whatever. Whatever it is, you can kind of adjust that. And the way I did it personally was I just stopped talking to them. Uh, and you would think that that would be common sense, but not so much. A lot of people, I mean, how many of you out there are pretty much have a friend or a couple friends that are like, you're just like, I can't stand them. I'm like, well, then why do you hang out with them? I'm like, well, they're friends. Like, who cares? Just don't, don't hang out with them. That's it. And I did that a lot in the early days, like back in like, back, like a couple like maybe 10, 20 years ago, I started doing that a lot because I had a lot of friends back then. Like, we, and that's not a brag. It's because we actually had a really good school and everybody kind of became friends toward the end of like senior year. So we were all like every, almost the entire class was really good friends. So it wasn't like, Oh, I was popular. Like everyone was just friends with everyone. There was like a few jerks, obviously that, you know, happens in every class, but by the end of senior year, most, most of the groups, so to speak, like, you know, we're all on good terms. I know we all had lots of like, you know, cool parties and stuff like that. Senior year, senior summer before college, like a lot of big ones were like, there was a good 200 people at these parties or like everybody would just get together and it was like, Hey, cause nobody was mad anymore. We were just all, we we're at us. We we're out of high school. You know, you didn't have, even the people that were jerks were kind of like, eh, you know, I was kind of a dick to you and that's fine. You know, it is what it is. High school, you know, we're cool. And then during the summer, it's fine. And that's kind of what that summer was. But you have all these people that you talk to and eventually you're like, I don't, I didn't like this person to begin with. So why am I friends with them? And then you just like, stop talking to them. You don't have, you don't even have to remove them from all your social media. Like literally just unfollow. That's it. <laughs> just click the unfollow button. So you don't see any of their posts and eventually they just fade away. It's kind of, it's kind of funny how it works. Like I've had some people that maybe kind of held on to it, but eventually if it's somebody that you really can't stand, that's the one that you're like, listen, bro, I don't, I'm, I'm good. I don't need to talk to you. Uh, most people get the hint if you don't, if you stop talking to them for a certain period of time, most people, then there's always that one or those one or two that lag behind. They're like, oh my God, I haven't seen you forever. I'm like, yeah, it's cause I don't like you. I don't like you. And that's why we don't talk. <laughs> so yeah. Um, yeah, that's, that's the best way to get rid of people from your life. You just remove them. That's it. Just get rid of them. That goes for anything. That goes for significant others. That goes for people at work. That go, Everything. If you're not happy and you don't like something, remove it. Just goodbye. Get it out of that. Get it out of your system and everything will be better. And I've noticed that that works a lot. Um, you'd be surprised. You would be really surprised how much just not talking to someone that just even slightly annoys you how it makes you feel better. And then you find people that actually kind of agree with you and they follow, they understand your values. They understand, you find those people. They, it may take a long time, but eventually you start slowly finding those people that don't just constantly act like douchebags all the time and have this big chip on their shoulder all the time and just constantly weigh you down. It's just like, they're, they're just annoying. They're idiots. They're stupid. We don't like them. Get them the hell out of here. All right. Um, and I had a few friends, actually, I, I told the story plenty of times to other people, but it's like, I had, I actually had a girlfriend that I had back in, like right in high school and probably one of the hottest girls I think I've dated, at least at the time. And I think she's a model now, funny, funny enough, I heard about it. I don't know if she isn't anymore, but like, I know she, I don't know, but people have different definitions. This is what I heard. So it could be nonsense. She could be like a foot model on like some stupid magazine for like one thing, but like she, she was a model, but she was so dumb. Like literally the dumbest person. I, I dated her for, I think two weeks and we were sitting on the couch at her house one day and I forgot what she said. I just know that it was insanely dumb. And I, I just looked at her and I kind of just started thinking about things. And I just said, I got to go. And I got up and left and then I never talked to her again which is a dick move. I'll be honest. Like that's a, that's a real dick move. But at the same time, I, it didn't even matter. Like I didn't talk to her and it didn't even turn into like a thing. Like that was how dumb she was. She was like, okay, I guess he's gone now. Okay. Ha, ha. Like it's like, all right, bye. You know, it's like, I don't mind if someone's ditzy, that's fine. It happens. But like when you're just straight up dumb, I don't know if I can deal with that. I'm okay with ditzy. I'm okay with crazy. I mean, crazy is it's his own, crazy is its own thing. That's a, that's like a whole nother topic, but yeah, stupid is bad. Like if you can't operate normal things, if you can't figure out how to open a fridge, if you don't know how to turn an oven on or press one on a microwave to make it cook fast, like little things, <laughs> you know, like little stuff, you know, life things, life hacks, life, life lessons that you, everyone should know. You know what I mean? If you don't know little things. 
But that's actually not what I'm talking about. I'm talking about like just stupidity. Like it's hard and it's funny because it's hard to explain somebody's stupidity like without because every topic is different. You know what I mean? There's always something dumb that you can say about something else. And and don't mistake moments of stupidity for stupid. There's there's a difference. Everybody has a moment of stupidity. We all get tired. We all have a bad day. There's stuff that everybody doesn't know. It happens. But what I'm saying consistently, when you're consistently in the dumb pot and not in the good pot, yeah, those are the people you don't want to be around. And that's just because they're annoying and they always want to just talk about shit that don't matter. And like, and I mean like, and I don't mean like just like, oh, that was weather. Like, I mean like my like my toenails, they feel weird today. Like, what? the hell are you talking about? <laughs> I'm like, I don't care. Like, what do you mean your toenails feel weird? It's like, I don't know. I was reading this thing about Johnny Rockets. And like, they go into these weird tangents about things. And it depends on your mood. Those people are really fun when you're drunk. But when you're not drunk, you just want them to shut the hell up, I think. So that's kind of when I'm just like, yeah, I'm good. I don't really need to deal with that. But Either way, you can move these people out of your life. And I know I'm being generalistic right now. It's not like this is going to be like, this is no specific thing. I'm just talking in generalities and I like, I'm, I'm getting, I'm venting. That's what these, that's the podcast is for about for me at this point. I just want to vent and talk about some stuff and, you know, throw in some game stuff here and there. But I, this is more about just discussing stuff and really just throwing out bad opinions. And I'm going to say crap on here that's bad. I'm going to say things on here that are just not good or that might seem negative or might seem positive. Like, but it doesn't matter because that's the whole point is that you just kind of, you're basically verbal diarrhea and it kind of just, it kind of calms you. I'm not going to lie. Like doing this podcast is like that calm for me. It basically lets me just release the things that I, you know, I want to say. It lets me get it out and do the, you know, I can talk about games when I'm in that mood. So it's like, I'm not stuck on any one thing right now. And I think that's kind of the path I want for the podcast. I want it to be more about stuff. I don't want it to just be about, you know, the few things that the game that I'm playing right now or something else. Like, I don't want, I don't care about all that. Like, this is more for like, Hey, let's have a discussion and really talk about stuff and whatever's going on. Eventually I'm sure it'll get into some more spicy territory and I'm sure that's, you know, whatever, but it is what it is. I mean, I like, if you're not a person that likes conversation, then somebody else's opinion who is not the same as yours will offend you. So there's that. <laughs> that can be your life lesson for today. I always like having a nice lesson at the end of everything. That could be one or just uh, don't put up with everyone, anyone's BS. How's that? And don't let someone else tell you how to live your life. There you go. How's that? Is that a good life lesson, positive ending? Don't let people tell you how to live your life. All right. You only get one unless you're, you know, Unless you believe in things that happen after, in which case, then you only get two, maybe three. I don't know. I don't know how many lives you get. Maybe you're a cat. Maybe you have nine lives. I don't know. I don't know your life. <laughs> um, but yeah, definitely don't let anyone, don't keep people around that are bothersome and don't stay in situations that are garbage. There you go. There's, there's your life lessons for today. All right. So if you guys have any questions or things you want to talk about, or you just want to yell about how I yelled, or you actually don't think that the things I said are idiots, or, you know, whatever, whatever, I don't care. Do it up. Let's, uh, let's have that discussion. Uh, you can always like, share, like, share, subscribe. It's good for the channel. You help us grow. And if you want to, you know, donate to the channel, you can do a super thanks. Those are all things that you can do to help support the channel. And uh, tomorrow for reels this time, I'm building that stupid shop because I want that stuff up. I, I have the scanner built. I have all the stuff here sitting literally right next to me. And I just haven't had the time. So now tomorrow I am off. I'm off today. And tomorrow I'm, I'm like getting all my recording done today. And then tomorrow shop. I do have to get my car brakes done. So that's good. It means I can't go anywhere. I have to get the car done and then we're good. All right. So thank you guys for listening. This is Mobile Gamer Nerd. And you guys take care.